Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get straight into your reading Pisces and pull your oracle card. What do we have for Pisces please? For the month, Angels, Spirits, Guide, the card has fallen out. Let's have a look. We have Dwelling in Truth. I stand in the light of truth very nice energy see I'm getting the star card with that uh, which can be about standing in your truth finally being aligned to the right path you know what do we have for Pisces please yeah I've got success and you know there's an energy here of this angel is just jumping for joy you can see jumping for joy it feels such a light, uplifting energy coming your way. Okay, Pisces, so I'm going to pull four cards and then we'll clarify as we always do, you know, by now and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. And I'm going to pull one card per week, so we'll go through it weekly and see what we get, Pisces. Okay, what do we have? Remember, it probably the, the energies can overlap, people at different life stages, but the message remains the same. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Thank you, two cards. So we have Neptune, which is very much your ruler, and the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands, wow, two new beginning cards. And there you go, Pisces. There's you and your element. You are the moon energy. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces. We've got, we've got the Empress, very nice energy. Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands again, Pisces, with the your card, the Moon energy. What did I say? I, did, I definitely felt the star energy with you. <laughs> it's so interesting. Um, absolutely beautiful energy. So Pisces, let's have a look at the Empress. Love the Empress energy. Now, she can sometimes be a mother and a powerful female. So you might be dealing with somebody like that this month in May. Um, as an energy, she is, she rules money and career. She also rules, well, she, she rules money areas. She can also rule um, love, romance, relationship areas. And certainly with this Ten of Pentacles, it could be either or for you. So the Empress is an energy of abundance and nurturing energy. Um, planting new seeds for future growth you know the time is right the soil is right the the conditions are right the climate's right you know it's ready for those seeds to be planted there's such potential and promise with the empress now that could be in terms of money and career that could be in terms of relationships and i feel like some of you you know maybe some of you might be looking to take a relationship to the next level it feels in this energy, Pisces. There's an energy with a hangman of waiting. So waiting for things to play out. And it's to do with this Ten of Pentacles. Now, like I said, this could be some goal in terms of money, career, finances. And this is an abundant energy. This is a successful energy. So very, very beautiful energy there. Can also be in terms of if you're 
wanting to take a relationship to the next level. I mean, this could be marriage energy, uh, waiting for the right time to act. You know, it, it can be that kind of energy here, Pisces. It feels in this, it definitely feels for some of you. This is either, because this can be to do with a committed relationship, um, marriage, you know, long-term commitment. And certainly with the Empress, it can be that everything is ready for that to happen. It soon will be. But there's something that needs to play out here before you can take the steps that you need to take. So for some of you, it feels that you want to take a relationship to the next level. It can also be in terms of money, career, finances. It is a general reading. So the Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is, is learning something, news, information, communication. And we have the Ace of Cups here, which can be a card of a new door opening. So, you know, this can be to do with, I mean, obviously, I mean, for some of you, you know, it could be taking a relationship to the next level. This could link with pregnancy. Um, this can also be to do with creative opportunities. Um, so very, very good. But it's a door that's bringing you happiness and joy. Your cup is being filled. You know, this is your cup is overflowing. You are the chalice and you're receiving love and light from the universe. So there's definitely an energy either you're offering love or somebody's offering love to you it could be taking the relationship to the next level like i said i can see pregnancy here as well for some of you but there's also an energy of it's very good in terms of money and career so whatever resonates with you pisces um the two of pentacles it's interesting It's interesting because the the two of pentacles can be a card of making some choice or decision, weighing something up, you know, it's that kind of energy. Um, it might well be there some, because of something that you're hearing here or, or learning here, there could be some weighing up that you're doing as a result of what this page of swords is bringing in with this ace of cups. It feels in this situation, I mean, this is also, you know, somebody who might be adapting maybe making some taking some steps to adapt and it feels to take action towards this new path so the ace of wands is an exciting opportunity something that's absolutely connected with your heart and soul that if you put if you put the energy and time into it it just feels like you're prioritizing adapting focusing on the practical things that you need to do it feels like there's some news or information that's coming into you and it requires some just adapting third week towards this new door, this new opportunity that's exciting. You know, the Ace of Wands can be very good in terms of business and career. It can be in terms of passion and love and romance. You know, again, like I said, for some of you, if you're expanding a family, it feels good here. Um, but it is the, something that promises growth that holds such potential that if you take action towards it, it promises success at the end of the road. So absolutely beautiful energy here. It's to do with our heart and soul. You know, I sometimes say this card can be, you know, if you um, felt, you know, you visited a state or a county and you felt uh, an affinity with that place you want to take action towards it you know it's that kind of energy if there is a job that you really really want you absolutely want to do everything that you can maybe adapt to prioritize in order to take action towards it um if there is some opportunity that's presenting itself it's absolutely connected to your heart and soul and promises growth long term this is an energy of planting seeds that are going to bring great growth long term so it feels lovely lovely energy here Pisces and I just feel for some of you with this I mean the moon is a card of hidden blessings for you it definitely feels for some of you whatever this path that you're finding yourself on 
whatever this hanged man was, I mean, this can be waiting for something to play out, waiting for the ducks to fall into a row. You know, it can be a card of we feel in limbo for a, for a number of reasons. Can be to do with health, can be to do with it's just not the right time. So things need to play out before we can. Can be to do with money and career we feel in limbo. Um, you know, can be to do with lost jobs or job changes. Can be also to do with um, love, romance, relationships and changes in that level. And it's not necessarily bad changes. It, it feels like there's some there's some waiting for this to happen, but it definitely feels like it starts to happen from the second week. And the moon energy is just the blessings, the ace of wands, the opportunity that you absolutely want to take action towards. Uh, because it's been handed to you by God, the divine, the universe. And I'm definitely feeling in this energy, this is just you back in your element. This is you aligning with something that's very connected to your heart and soul here, Pisces. And it's saying that the path you are on is blessed. You are standing in your truth. You are absolutely on the right path. And the path that you're on is blessed. Uh, it feels very, very beautiful indeed. But I love, I mean, it, it, there's definitely an energy here of greater abundance coming your way in terms of material success for some of you. This links with definitely progress in terms of a relationship, potential pregnancy for some of you as well. This is the adaptation that you need to do to grab hold of this opportunity, to open this new door, to take action towards this new phase of your life I'm feeling for some of you. This can be, like I said, in terms of business, career, finances. It can be to do with love romance relationships just ready for that there's three new beginning cards here so there's definitely an energy for some of you look again i've got the page of cups things are beginning to lock up but i definitely feel in this energy there is some happy news it feels like happy news that's coming your way something that you've been waiting for i'm definitely getting this energy of happy news wow Happy news, dwelling in truth. Very nice energy, Pisces. So let's pull a final card. Yeah, you are receiving blessings. We've got divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your situation with crystal clear clarity. Absolutely beautiful energy, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all. Looks very beautiful and I will see you next time. Thank you.